Hello, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading from Psalm 119, verse 110 today. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. The devil can try to trick you into sinning. Other people can set you up for sin or try to influence you to sin and tempt you to sin. But the choice is always yours. No trap of the devil can spring if we stay true to the Word of God. His hands are tied when we follow the Word of God. All sorts of sinful traps were being laid for the writer, but not a one of them sprang because he followed the Bible. The Bible gives us a path through the spiritual minefield of this life. As long as we stay on course with the Word of God, the traps will not be sprung. Satan cannot get you. He cannot have you. He cannot trick you. He cannot cause you to sin. Neither can the flesh. Neither can the world. Just stay on path of the word. You'll be safe. Verse 111. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever. For they are the rejoicing of my heart. We can choose our heritage. We can choose our inheritance or in the case of some of us, we can choose to have an inheritance. God is our rich father, and Jesus is our rich brother. And they have left us all everything that we need, and much more for happiness if we are Christians. I say it again. God is our rich father. Jesus, our rich brother, as it were. And they have left us everything that we need and more for joy, contentment, and peace and happiness in this world. Some of the things that people look for in wealth and riches and a financial inheritance. Spiritually speaking, you can live on this book. The Word of God is our inheritance. Salvation through Jesus Christ, which is taught in the Word of God is our inheritance. It's our inheritance, one that we can live on. You can live on this book. Some people today are saying, if you're right with God, he'll give you a new car. He'll give you a fine house. And whatever else you decide that you want to claim. I'm saying this book gives me more joy than any new car that I've ever had or any new house that I ever bought. This book contains more joy than a Packers Super Bowl, which is saying a lot for someone like me who has been a Packer fan for 50 years and has only missed two regular season games. I had a streak of 50 years of not missing a regular season Packer game broken last year because the DVR, or whatever it's called, didn't work. <laughs> but So I know, I know what it feels like to go for like 28 years without a Super Bowl, watch every game, finally win a Super Bowl. That was good. That was fun. But I guarantee you, this book, the Word of Almighty God and fellowshipping two minutes with Jesus Christ through the Word and through prayer and through praise and worship gives me more joy than a Packers Super Bowl, even one that I waited 38 or 28 years for. It gives me more satisfaction than a baseball World Series for my team than a Badger Final Four victory, than a Milwaukee Bucks NBA championship. And the joy of the Bible doesn't fizzle in a couple of hours like those things inevitably do. And I'm out of time. For more of God's Word, go to the Bible, verse by verse .com. Thanks.